queuing to get into a charity rap concert in Istanbul's Kadıköy district. Hundreds of Russians here united in showing their opposition to their country's war in Ukraine and support for the Ukrainian fight to stop the invasion. Most of them are young and well-educated Russians. If you write uh, war in your Instagram or uh, Facebook, uh, you can go to the, the jail, yeah. Others say they were arrested for joining anti-war protests in cities back home. Not long time before I got arrested because I took part in some rallies and uh, I got fired. Also in Istanbul is Alisa Zaseva. The Russian activist left Moscow two weeks ago to cram her life into the small room in a hostel. She has a Russian passport, but half of her family is Ukrainian. Like many of her peers, she was born after Russian President Vladimir Putin was elected. We never chose him. We literally had uh, votes rights just a couple of years ago. We never voted for this uh, government. People feel guilty, like young generation, that they trying to do something, but it's impossible and it's dangerous. But living in Turkey means many challenges lie ahead. The Russian anti-war newcomers need a life to settle, housing, money. Due to the crippling international sanctions, their credit cards don't work. Most have no plan. It's pretty nice and clean and it's good enough to accommodate. Eva Repaport is an anthropology researcher who left Russia nine years ago. She has been in Istanbul for nearly two years and stayed out of politics. But now she helps other Russians who fled to get a roof over their heads. I cannot go on and uh, do my regular daily routines when the, something like so unjust and like so uncalled for is uh, happening. Others in self-exile fear for the future and Putin's potential revenge. When he turns back from the war, he will turn his eyes to the people that did not support his actions. And that will be war inside. As well as Russians, some Ukrainians also ended up in Istanbul. Yurik is married to a Russian in Kazan, but felt he wasn't safe there or in his hometown, Kiev, either. It's really sad that uh, Russian people, uh, they worry about their economy when uh, our people die. Turkey is one of the easier destinations to escape to for Russians who are against war. But even if fighting in Ukraine ends soon, Russians may face 15-year prison sentence if they return home because of their social media posts and their opposition to the invasion. Sinem Kusulu, Al Jazeera, Istanbul.